Hello and thank you for joining me on my video series installing and configuring IBM Lotus Traveler on IBM Lotus Domino on CentOS 6. This is a Linux operating system. I am Devin Olson and once again thank you for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, at the end of the last video we had successfully installed our um, CentOS operating system and we had successfully prepared the operating system for installing Domino. We had created the notes user. Let's sign in here. We had created the notes group. We had set up the appropriate uh, installation directories and folders. And basically we had gotten the entire OS ready to go. <clears throat> so in, in this set what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and install the Domino server. And it's it's really fairly easily easy to do. Let's start off by opening a, a, a terminal here, and I want to uh, oops, bump the key. We're going to come back here to the root, and um, as I said in my in our last video, we had created the local and notes data folder. So there's the local, and if we were to change that and do an ls, there's the notes data. And so here we are. Um, I need to change to the install directory. And there's the domino directory and traveler directory. If you recall, we had actually um, used the tar command to extract our tar files. And so here's the tar file in red on this particular operating system and folders on this particular um, operating system and desktop environment, GUI environment are listed in blue. And there we have it. So there's uh, the, the the files that can actually do something that are executable or have data or something like that are uh, are in that bright green. We can't go ahead and install the run the executable at this point because we're still signed in using the notes ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch to the super user ID, the root ID, and we do that again as a reminder with the su command, and then we have to pass in type in the password for that user. And now you'll notice we are we are logged in as root, and uh, we're still in the same spot. So there we are. So um, if you come from a Windows environment and you're used to working in Windows, at this point you would think, okay, well I can type the install command, but just typing install. Linux is a little little different, slightly interesting. Um, you need to when issuing a command like that, you need to tell it where to find it, even though it's right here. So the way we do that is we just use this dot and this slash would mean which kind of means from here where I'm at now go find and do this and I'm going to say install one of the other things that's interesting about this is I have the choice to continue in graphic mode and um, when I when I introduced the series and I was I was talking about installing the CentOS operating system and I, I chose to use a desktop environment rather than a basic server because I wanted a, a GUI environment within which to work I made the comment that I've never personally installed a Domino server using just the text installation I've always done it with the graphic mode and um, I think it's going to be a little bit fun we're going to go ahead and tell it uh, no and let's let's try and install in a non-graphic mode and see what happens and I mean maybe this will work and maybe it'll be the end of the world we'll see what's going to go on so here we go now a lot of uh, scripted um, programs or whatever you want to call them uh, scripts in, in the Linux environment they can retrieve information exchange information to and from the user just by entering particular keyboards like commands like right here so You'll now notice down at the bottom, um, I can press 1 for next, 3 to cancel, 4 to redisplay, and then you'll see that there's a 1 right here, and it's inside these braces. And what, that, what, what, what that's telling me is that 1 is the default. So if I don't even press 1, if I just press my Enter key, just like that, it will go ahead and do it. And so in the, in the same case here, uh, press Enter to continue viewing the license agreement, or Enter 1 to accept, or whatever. And you'll notice there is no default here. So if I press enter, it's just going to continue to view the license agreement. If I press 1, followed by my return key or my enter key, it goes ahead and continues on. So you see there, now we're press 1 for next, 2 for previous, 3 to cancel, 4 to redisplay, and 1 again is, 
is defaulted by those braces. That's just a little mini tutorial on, on how this <coughs> non-graphic <coughs> system interacts with the user. Okay, um, in this situation I do not wish to install my data directories only for partition download server because this is a demo on how to do the whole thing and eventually also we're going, going to need um, to install Traveler. So we're just going to go ahead and skip over that. Um, one for next. Those are my program files, the slash IBM slash erc slash opt slash IBM slash Lotus. If I wanted to change the directory, I could type it in here. I don't. I'm just going to press enter and be happy. Okay, I want to verify. Do you wish to? <laughs> let's, let's, ooh, look, it's a hide win formula. Do you wish to verify a negative? Yes, I do. So there we go. <laughs> Uh, again, we're just going to hit enter and continue on through. There's where the data files are going to go in the slash local slash no data folder. And if you recall, that's one of the folders we created in, in the other video. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to hit enter. Stop! If you're at this point, do not press enter. And this is really, really important. You'll notice the default is root, and that's because root is the ID under whose context I guess for lack of a better word under which context we are running this installation program so that's the currently signed in user and so the installation program is going to default to that user now if you recall I said earlier that the root has the rights and privileges of everything it's God mode and can do anything it wants so running domino on a server as root is an extremely bad idea let me say it again it's an extremely bad idea don't do it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in the user ID that we created specifically for running Domino. So I'm just going to type in notes. That's all I have to do. And now the group name is notes. And I'm just going to go ahead and it's the same thing. Just type it in what I want. Press one for next to redisplay. Do I want to do a manual installation at the end or a local installation or a remote installation? Uh, a manual installation means I got to do stuff here. A local would mean I have a, a, a you know, it's client type of thing, or a, excuse me, a, an admin client to do the installation. Same with remote, I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and use manual, hit enter, hit enter again. What type of Domino server do I want to install? In this case, because it's a full blown demo, we want to go with the, with, with the whole thing, the Domino Enterprise server. You'll notice by default I have a zero there. That means just select whatever is selected. Don't make a change. Hit enter. I'm happy so far. And here it comes up. Here's a quick review of what we're going to do. To do. do I want to press enter to read the rest of this text? Type Q to quit and bail out. If I type Q, I'm not going to skip ahead. It's going to bail out of the installation program. So I'm not going to type Q. I'm just going to press enter. Um, and here we go. There's the, the, the last of the information about the installation. <coughs> and uh, press enter. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I got a bit of a cough this morning. And Domino's going to start up. The installation is now beginning. And we're going to get a, a scroll, a little thing here. You're going to see little ticks to indicate the percentage of, of the completion. I'm going to go ahead and press the pause key on my recorder because you don't really need to sit here and watch this scroll on by. I'll be back in a minute. Well, in a second for you. Okay, a little note here. Um, over here on the left, you'll see this Domino server desktop just kind of showed up. That's part of the installation, and it's going to sit here at 100% for a couple of minutes, just long enough to make you, the person running the install, uncomfortable to think it, ooh, it might have hung. It hasn't hung, but it's just long enough to make you think it has. So don't worry about it. In just a second, it'll, boom, print all that stuff out. So there we go. I'm going to press, there's a little cool thing I love about Linux, watch this. I'm pressing my print screen key on my keyboard, and oh look at that, it immediately knows. Hey, he wants a screenshot, and obviously when you do a screenshot, I want to save it. I'm going to save that to the clip, uh, excuse me, to the desktop, so it comes up here. And that's just so that I have my instructions available to me should I need to refer to them, because the next set of things that I need to do are right here on the screen. I just got to follow the instructions, it's really, really, really easy. This this uh, final portion of, of configuring the server. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that in the next video because this video has run a bit long. So join me on the next video and we'll, we'll finish, the, finish the installation and then begin the configuration. 
or excuse me, finished the configuration. We've finished the installation. We will begin the configuration on the next video. Thank you again uh, very much for joining me. My name is Devin Oltz.